Solar Power is propelling a Cube satellite in Earth's orbit today, and Cal Poly students were part of the mission's success. KSBY reporter Asia Gore was in Mission Command this morning to witness the deployment of the new technology. It's called LightSail, and she joins us now live from campus with more. Asia? Well, Richard, as momentum builds across America for U.S. space exploration, Vandenberg Air Force Base isn't the only one on the Central Coast getting on board. We're deploying this huge sail that will allow us to basically ride the sun's winds and propel us wherever we want to go. Excitement builds in this Cal Poly classroom as the Planetary Society, with its leader scientist Bill Nye, <laughs> work alongside physics students to deploy a solar sail on the CUBE satellite launched back in June. This is only the second time that we've tested solar sail in space and the first time deploying the sail in Earth orbit. Earth orbit is specifically challenging because the drag forces in the atmosphere keep wanting to bring the spacecraft down. With bated breath, Mission Control charts the CubeSat's path. I was monitoring the telemetry as it came in, and then finally, once we commanded the sail to be deployed, I was monitoring to see that it actually was deploying. This mission's success shows scientists it's possible to reduce the size of the spacecraft and amount of fuel required and thus bring down the cost of space travel. The very, very long dream of this is that solar sailing is the only known technology that could one day, and I stress one day, get us to the stars. For these scientists, shooting for the stars seems like a real possibility as they receive photographic proof of the solar sail's success. It's kind of surreal, honestly. It's okay to see in the numbers on the screen, like in text, like, yes, we're deployed, but to actually see it physically um, from a photo is really amazing. And this mission marks another first. It's the first time that a spacecraft, an experimental one at that, has been crowdfunded. This one particularly received $7 million from over 40,000 donors. Live in San Luis Obispo, I'm Asia Gore, KSBY News. All right, Asia, thank you. A test mission was launched back in 2015. That one failed, though, when the spacecraft crashed.